Hey YouTube, Long Post 1975. There's a question down there. Have you ever unsubscribed from a channel because they make too many videos? You know, is there a limit to the number of videos a channel should make or post in a set period of time? This question is inspired by a comment Soft Otaku left on a video I did a few weeks ago. Um, he's in my shuffle list and I'll put a link to his channel in the doohickey down below. I really do recommend you go and check him out. He's a slice of fried gold and he basically said, you know, if you ever unsubscribe for someone because they make too many videos in a week. Walked through that one, didn't I? And um, he also said, that it, you know, because he has, uh, and also he, he's also done so because it clogs up his subscription feed. Then there was a comment down below that, to that comment that he made, from where someone said the same thing, which was, you know, they become bored watching the same people all the time, and also it, it clogs up their subscription feed. And uh, it's funny because having read that comment, I mean, I initially responded to him, and then I've thought about it, and I've talked about it to certain channels and individuals behind the scenes, you know, on here and in the real world. I hate that phrase. And it turns out to be quite the Marmite question. There are those who say, no, you know, I like the fact that someone could be creative. And then there are those who have said, yeah, it gets too much. But more often than not, they said it's because it because of the, subscri the subscription feed. And I found that really, really quite interesting. Have I? Yes and no. But not because it clogs up the subscription feed. There's nothing wrong with, you know, doing that because it, you know, it fills the box. That sounded terrible. Because, you know, YouTube is a source of entertainment. We come here to, to you know, to be entertained, to, to, to enjoy watching videos. And if your box gets, again, sorry, full, you know, uh, with the same individual posting all the time, then I can see that you become frustrated because you're not being able to see you know, or experience the full scope of what you would do on YouTube. So you would take steps to resolve that issue. But at the same time, I think, to some degree, the creativity of an individual is uh, suffering from the fact that Google doesn't run YouTube properly. So I, I never have for that. I do find it frustrating. I guess it's a question of why do you subscribe to a channel? You, I mean, I subscribe to a channel for personality, intelligence, and ultimately to be entertained. Uh, and if they can maintain that across a high volume of videos, then I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Also, most of the channels I subscribe to have a high turnover of videos uh, and have done from day one when I initially subscribed to them. People like um, Trouble 385 and, you know, the YouTube gaming community and people like Steve Benway, you know, they, they, they constantly ask interesting questions. They constantly talk about interesting subjects. When they do gameplays and things like that, they're always, always entertaining. And I like the fact that I know that at any one point, you know, there will be new content there I can go and check out. I really, really do enjoy that. But then I guess there's your casual person who watches videos uh, here and there and everywhere. And when someone becomes, you know, sort of really, really churning these things out and it's, you know, I can see why that might annoy them. You know, why, why again, the subscription feed that they would think, oh, oh unsubscribe because this is just ruined this for me and this is ruining it for everything I watch. It's a question of taste, ultimately isn't it? I mean, have I ever unsubscribed a channel because they make too many videos? Well, yes and no, but is it because they make too many videos or is it a byproduct of because they make too many videos? Uh, as I said, I watch a video for, you know, to be entertained, for humour, uh, for intelligence, for, you know, for the opinions of an individual. If they start cranking loads out and it, it, it's maintained across that, I absolutely love it because YouTube is my new TV. If it starts to go off topic, you know, is that a byproduct? You know, is the quality suffering because they're putting out a lot of videos? You don't know. They might just be trying something new, and the fact that they make a lot of videos is just sort of coincidental. I don't know. Ultimately, unsubscribe because they're, they're not, you know, they're not producing the content I want to watch anymore. As I said, is that a byproduct of the fact that, you know, they're making more videos? I don't know. I wouldn't say that I've ever unsubscribed because someone makes a lot of videos because, as I said, more often than not, I subscribe to a channel because they are prolific. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting question. I would love to know what you think. You know, do you unsubscribe when people start cranking it out big time? Or, you know, do you unsubscribe because you, your subscription feed becomes kind of, you know, backed up and stuff like that? Or do you just not care? Do you just accept that's a limitation of Google running YouTube? You know, because let's be honest, everything they've done with YouTube lately is either broken or they never actually get around to completely resolving the issue. I I ultimately unsubscribe to a channel because I don't enjoy their content anymore. That may not because they're mass producing, that just may be...
because they've changed as an individual. As I said, I would love to know what you think. But someone said to me something at work funny last night when I was talking to them about it, and they said they've uh, they've unsubscribed from channels because they, they, they make too many videos. But they did turn around to me and say, you know what's funny though, don't you? And I said, what's that, mate? And he goes, we always piss and moan that there's never anything on TV or that the fact that our favourite show only has six episodes and then we have to wait a, week, uh, a year for it to come back. And yet, when we have people on YouTube that we like to watch, um, and they start making too many videos, we unsubscribe. There's irony. Anyway, yeah, what do you think? I, you know, it's kind of an interesting question. Oh, and check out those two channels I posted the links to down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.